for week three, we're also doing a review of power in a requested meridian. Let's start with the standard rules. If we are dealing with a um, zero degrees of movement, because remember, the first thing that we have to figure out with power in a requested meridian is how far is the uh, requested meridian from the uh, given axis. So if we were zero degrees away, we would be using 0% of the cylinder. If we are 30 degrees away, we're going to use 25% of the cylinder. If we're 45 degrees away, we'll be using 50%. 60 degrees equals 75. And if we are 90 degrees away, we will be using 100 percent of the cylinder. Now this bit of information here uh, is going to be critical uh, as we work through ABO. So we're going to want to make sure that we've committed these um, amounts of cylinder percentage um, to memory. Um, so this is something that we're going to want to make sure that we hold on to. For sake of helping you kind of understand why this works the way that it does. Uh, if we're thinking about a lens and uh, the different meridians, uh, if we represent that here, 0, 90, and 180, um, we're kind of talking about uh, one of these quadrants. So if we use all of this quadrant and we go from 0 to 90, we are using 100% of the cylinder. So 90 degrees, or 90 degrees away, equals 100%. Uh, if we're only going halfway, uh, we would be at a meridian of 45, and that means that we've gone 50%. So 45 equals 50%. We can see that 30 tucked in here at 25, and we could see that 60, um, over here at 75%. So to give you a little bit of reference, um, if we started at zero and ended at zero, uh, we would not have traveled any distance. That's why we're using 0%. Um, and then again, 30 degrees puts us at 25%. 45 degrees puts us at 50%. 60 degrees puts us at 75. And then if we're using the full quadrant or all 90 degrees, uh, we've used 100% of that cylinder. Now, as far as the test is concerned, um, we are regularly going to be working uh, in the 90th meridian or the 180th meridian. So 90 and 180. Now that means uh, that we're either be working vertically, so vertical imbalance or uh, vertical um, or uh, image jump, um, or if we're talking about the 180th meridian, we're talking about like horizontal prism. Uh, for example, if you asked for a PD of 60 and the lab accidentally made it at 70. So remember, Vertical is going to be uh, image jump or vertical imbalance. And horizontal would be um, horizontal prism, for example, uh, if the glasses were made incorrectly. So that's why we're often working in the 90th or 180th meridian. So let's just make sure that we're comfortable with that here really quick. So let's uh, use what we just learned. So if we had a prescription of minus one, minus one at 45, and uh, the question pertained to vertical imbalance, we would need to know what the power was at the axis of 90. Step one in requested meridian is always to determine how far our given axis is from our requested axis. And in this case, we are 45 degrees away. We can throw that on the calculator, 90 
minus 45 equals 45, just for confirmation. And we know, based on our, our earlier discussion, that 45 degrees away means that we'll be using 50% of our cylinder. So 50% of minus one, Again, we can go back to our calculator. One times 0.5 equals 0.5. So 50 cents, right? So, because half of a dollar is 50 cents. So a minus 50 is the percentage of cylinder. And then we're adding that to the sphere. So if I had a minus one plus a minus a half, that's going to equal Again, grab that calculator, one plus half equals one and a half. So 1.5, and everything's minus, so we know it's a minus 150. So we would say that the power at axis 90 is minus 150. And this would be important, again, uh, in a question pertaining to maybe vertical imbalance, um, so that we could understand what the power is vertically in the lens. So as the patient looks down into the bifocal, we need to know what it is on that vertical axis. So remember, the steps for power in a requested meridian always pertain to first determining how far away your given axis is from your requested, and then applying the appropriate percentage of the cylinder. Please give me a call if you have any questions about requested meridian.